why do people have Jordan Peterson depicted in Captain America as Red Skull? Let's go. So I realized this last few days that um, we're in the comic world, comic sucks. Let's just say the comics that I used to read back in the day, it was amazing, but now it sucks. Big time. It's all about you have to be afraid of what you say or how you offend people. And in the comic world, we don't care about that. It's like going to war and I have to be careful how I identify my enemy. It doesn't make any sense. It's not realistic. I wanted that fake nitty gritty world about everybody is kind of angry. Everybody wants to fight. Everybody wants to solve because I just wanted to see how the superpowers battled each other and how they conquered each other with a good story arc and a few good words that's it i like daredevil back in the day because daredevil has like very long fighting scene but compared to other comics they didn't have that evidence everybody has a comic that attracts them for different reason what i don't like now is i just go and everyone's yeah well now iceman identifies as being gay i'm like okay it has nothing to do with the story i don't need it being gay doesn't make Iceman more powerful. He doesn't have an, an icy touch Ooh, pfft, and freeze the face of the people. It doesn't make any sense. In no way or capacity when I see a superhero battle another one, does the feminine side or the masculine side have a reason why they are going to win. Superheroes, I watch them because I want to see their powers in action. I don't want to see how you interpret the world and you're gonna be like you know we're gonna use this because we need to put this moral of the real world in this comic dude i'm a geek i want to escape the real world and believe what i'm seeing which i know isn't the truth but you know what in a weird subjective way it's kind of is and it makes me feel good i don't care about the real world stuff ever so here comes the big problem now now you have like jordan peterson i know a bunch of people don't like him I don't think he's as bad as people want to justify him. He doesn't want to identify my gender. Nah, I don't think he said that. I use whatever pronoun seems to go along with the persona that they're projecting publicly. It's the simplest thing to do. Now, if we were... So if, you would respect their choice on an individual level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it, with, a, with, a, with a more uh, contentious pronoun, je and je and that sort of thing, that's a whole different issue. Mm. Because the question there is... Well, exactly what is it that you're doing when you're asking me to use those words? Like, are you, are you compelling me to play your particular ideological game? Or is this actually a matter of some personal identity that's important to you? And those things are not obvious. And so there would be no foregone conclusion that I would address you by the pronouns of your choice. And the first thing I'd want to find out is, is, is that just a narcissistic power play? Because that's actually the most likely outcome. If you go that far, people are going to end up in prison. And what did they say? That's not going to happen. And what did happen? Somebody got sent to prison because a father didn't feel identified with what the daughter was saying. Because they were forcing him by his point of view. So he said, I'm not going to do it. And then a judge was like, you know what? I can see your daughter is in distress because she is a he. He's like, you cannot force me. And the judge said, you know what? If you don't do it, we're going to send you to prison if you put all the info out and which doctor did it. Guess what the father did? He did it anyway. Guess what the judge did? They're going to send the dude to prison. And what did they say back in the day? It's never going to happen. It's like whenever I say something, oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. And when it happens, well, it's 2020. Do you see how dumb that sounds? Let me also add this. The way I learned about this stuff is one time I was in a voice chat. Voice chat was Gucci. I made a joke that ended with the word woman. And I heard the way she spoke after that. She was kind of cringy about that. She didn't kind of like it. And I was like, hmm, okay. This is my first non-binary situation with people that might not identify with the word that I'm talking about. So, in private, later, with other people around so she doesn't feel like I corner her, we're gonna talk about this. I asked her in front of her friend, hey, I'm learning about this stuff, it's kind of confusing, how do you want me to identify you? And she said, he. Sorry. Well, yeah, you see, you see how confusing it is already? So, he said, I want to identify as a he. That's how confusing it can be. It, it, I, I'm thinking like this like for 40 years, man. Come and give me a break. Okay. So here I am. And I said, you know what? Um, it, it's really confusing because I hear your voice. I don't even see you. My jokes go fast. Something I talk faster than I think. 
to help me out to make it easier because I don't want to offend people, but I don't want to use it for everybody. She said, what do you mean? It says, I don't want a day this because it's confusing. I want a simple life. I don't want to walk on a minefield when I go talk to people. For example, my wife back then when she was my girlfriend, I kept calling her the wrong name and I did not know why. You know what she did? I don't care anymore because I know you're trying. I know your action shows something different. So even if you make a mistake, I don't care. Gucci. I like you. So you solve your own head problems the way you want it. After that day, I always called her the right name. You know why? There wasn't pressure. I hate pressure. And I told this girl, I really like her because she's quite chill. And she took the time to explain it in a chill way. And when I make a mistake, she just jokingly corrects me. Not constant, constant, constant to piss me off in the moment. But she just tells me in private, hey, just be careful. And it's Gucci. I want to impress her that I can adapt. But I don't want to feel defensive about it. And that's where I have a problem with it. And the fact that we can learn it as an adult and people are like, you know what? That way, it's too slow. Let's go for the kids. That's where I have a problem. So why is there a judge for this? You're creating a situation that you're forcing all parents to do something when a kid is in a rebellious rage. And you want a father or a person that doesn't understand. He has to go all along with something that he doesn't feel right. Don't you think you're creating a more toxic environment? There, there isn't any difference when the fathers officially back in the day forced the kids to do whatever they want. I've never agreed with anything that I don't want to have applied to myself. Does that make any sense? That's my problem. I don't know, man. Because you justify that whatever you want to do is the right thing to do and I have no say. The fact that you consider that normal and it is with the times. I guess Hitler also said it back. It's with the times. It's the Jews. It's the Jews. I'd also made it a hate crime to, to, to discriminate or harass, essentially. So now then the question is, well, what exactly do you mean by discriminate or harass? And why exactly is that a hate crime under the criminal code? Well, there was an answer to that. The answer was, well, this bill will be interpreted in light of the policies generated by the Ontario Human Rights Commission. Very large set of policies. Now, the Ontario Human Rights Commission is a radically leftist organization. I think it's the most dangerous organization in Canada, although you could debate that. And they set all sorts of policies about how this, these le this legislation was going to be interpreted. And the federal government linked to their website to state that Bill 16, C-16 would be interpreted in light of those guidelines. So I went and read all the policies. Well, one of the policies was that if you didn't use the preferred pronouns of a given group, that you could be charged essentially with a hate crime. And I thought, no. And now you have a comic, Captain America. He's like, you know what? We have a problem. Look, 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 look. And he's talking to a friend explaining the whole issue. So let me guess, your brother, he disappeared into the internet and when he come back out, he can't stop talking about this new theory of the world. And that theory comes from one man, the Red Skull, a Nazi. Jordan Pizza is a Nazi. Meet, where's the link? Where's the link? Well, look what, 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 look what Red Skull says in German. Chaos and order. Who talks about chaos and order? Jordan Peterson. Look what he says. The 10 rules for life. Who says that? Jordan Peterson. And you're linking people. They have nothing to do with each other. Jordan Peterson is a Ribero. Red Skull is an authoritarian, if I said the word right, a Nazi. I'm like, dude, guys, stop trying to project stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense. And in comics, things that usually kids read, where they're trying to find their hero in it, are you really trying to subjugate kids' mind, the way of thinking? And there's always going to be a need. Well, if you take care of your kids and you watch what they read, it shouldn't happen. Dude, do you have a kid? Do you have any idea how much time we have to dedicate to be there with them? It's even unhealthy if you do that with the kid because he's never get the sense of responsibility by himself. You need to help him grow. You need to put a stable ground so whenever something bad happens, he can pick himself up. But not every parent has that time, that love or that dedication. So when you say like, well, you should take care of your kids, not everybody has that time. Some people have to work. 
Some people have to be responsible to be able to take the kid for an irresponsible decision that they make in the past. And I'm so tired that people do this weird stuff. So a kid might read this and they're going to be like, oh, Jordan Peterson in his bed. Why? Because it sounds like Red Skull. Dude, I'm really tired when people just go into stuff and try to influence kids. And even me as a father that's usually I'm with my kids. I have to watch out because I don't know which TV show is, is going to teach him something or he comes from the schools with his nails painted. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing? If gender isn't that important, why if a kid acts in a specific gender, you're like, oh, he's that gender then. Why? What? Wh wh why? It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's like it's always illogical for me. But you, whenever it seems logical, it's Gucci right gender doesn't exist if i say what gender my child is because i made him that way but on the other side you can decide it by the old standard but even you don't believe in gender i'm like dude and something i'm just so tired with how they try to influence kids with comics and then label people evil without proper discussion no we're not allowed to have this come because that racist how is it racist you haven't even talked you cannot cut off the dialogue no wonder a bunch of people don't read comics anymore i remember the first time i saw spider-man when i believe he had to confront somebody that killed mary jane or something and he was so angry you notice in his face because they have a way to use it in his face right and the steve was like trying to shoot him and the thief was like why aren't you making any jokes why are you making any joke? You're the, you're, the, you're the fun superhero that most thieves like because at least you don't, you just hang us upside down before we go to prison, you know? And I remember as a kid when I read it, it touched me because for me it meant like whenever I get really angry, I don't know if I express myself different or something, but I get so much attention because it's not something normal. It doesn't happen a lot. And that moment I felt identified. That's how you make a comic. I can't identify with pss, pss. I can't identify when my spider sense are tingling. But I can identify with the correct dialogue. But the moment you need to teach me that, I'm like, you know what? Make your own freaking baby, right? And teach him who the Red Skull is. But when I see my version of level one in the world, and I don't even want him to get corrupted. I don't want to live around him 24-7 because you want to show your ideology in the kid. So you might say, Spider-Man, if he was gay and you were gay, you might feel empowered. No, because when Spider-Man took the mask off and I still like him, that means I like him for something else. Don't get me wrong, my cosa quita bong. Put a fire na mi blonde, kush hash purple skunk, criollo, colombici, jam jam, turlo, keta verde, ta welcome.